Okay, in this video, we modified a bit the makeup data that we've been using in the SUMIF video. Let's call it SUMIF duplicates to files. Okay, and so we want to answer the following question. We have the girls or women selling makeup, and so we want a list of total dollars sold of each by each woman of each product. Okay, now the first issue here is not every woman may have sold every product. As a matter of fact, I deleted all the Ashley eyeliners, so there is no Ashley eyeliner data. So I would need a list of every combination of woman with product. Now, how do I get that? That would will involve something called remove duplicates from the data tab, which is incredibly useful. Okay, so first we'll copy the data to another worksheet and get every combination of woman and product. And then we can just copy the sum is, sum, copy that data back to this spreadsheet and use the SUMFS formula and copy it down very simply and solve our problem. Okay, so the name, the product, units and dollars, we don't need the, tra well, let's do the transaction number. So we're gonna copy this stuff point to this worksheet here, right click, and this is pay special values. Okay, right there. Okay, so now we want to just get every combination of women selling product. Okay, so we select all the data, control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow, go data, remove duplicates, Data has headers. Okay, unselect all. Now I pick name and product, units and dollars. Okay, so I will get, uh, sorry, not units and dollars, name and product. I want every unique combination of name and product. So it, like the first time it finds Ashley selling a given product, it'll save that row and delete all the other rows of that. Okay, so there's 44 of them. Okay, so in other, in other words, Ashley selling foundation was in row 109, etc. Actually, selling lip gloss was in row 12, et cetera. Okay, so now what I need to do is, I don't care about the transaction number. All I've got to do is copy this stuff. Back here. To the first worksheet. And we'll go right here. Okay. Now, if I want to change those dates again to look like normal dates, control one, date, like that. All right. Okay. So now, actually, I don't need this date column. All I need is the woman selling the product and then the units in dollars. That's just from the first particular row of that combination. So now if I want to find the dollars, okay, Let's use range names. I first will name all these columns by their heading. So remember, formulas create from selection, names in top row. Okay, now I want to know how much Ashley sold in, sold in dollars of foundation. So I can go to the function wizard, sum if s I have used recently in the last video. So the sum range will be dollars, F3 dollars. And then the first criteria range would be the name. And I want to say the name would equal what's at in this cell, Ashley. And that will copy down. Now name is like it's dollar sign. And then I'll say product. And the product here happens to be foundation. Oops. So I go here for foundation. And see, that says, add up the dollars column if the name is Ashley and the product is foundation. And all I have to do is double click and copy that down and do control one currency to make that dollars. And I now have it and widen the column by double clicking. I now know, now know what every woman sold of every product. And basically, Ashley didn't sell eyeliner, so there's not a row for that with a zero which we don't really don't want. So that remove duplicates can give me a unique list of names if I go across one column. 
but more importantly, across multiple columns, it can give every combination. Like if I had a location column, I could get a heading for every woman selling every product in every location that they sold it, because it would clearly be that every woman did not sell every product in every location. And then just copying the SUMFS formula makes it very simple to create a very powerful sales sum. Okay, we will see you in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.